This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. Yes, what you have left, yeah. Um, it depends on how much you took um, or taking advances only for fuel. Then, yes, you would get all of that back after 24 hours or 48 hours after you turned in your paperwork. But if you were getting, let's say that you, you, you could get 300. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at MTI, MAMO Transportation Driverway Services. That's M A M O out of Indiana. I believe they are contract services. They are driverway services. If you guys want to drive for MTI, all you have to do is look them up online. The information will be in the description below. Qualifications is 25 years of age with one year available. One year. One year verifiable experience within the last five years. You have to have your DOT medical certificate, pass a drug test, and no drivers, they do not accept SAP drivers over here. Uh, I was going over the email and I see that you guys are a. Uh, a drive away company, if if I'm looking at this right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We move vehicles for other companies all over the United States. So drive away. So that's like, I I would get like a call or a text or something like that saying, "Go here, pick up this car." Yes, that's what uh, you would call in and you would say, "Okay, I'm ready to go out. What do you have in Ohio?" And then we tell you everything that we got in Ohio, and then you pick and choose what you wanted to do. If you wanted to take one of the trucks or if you wanted to wait um, till, you know, later on in the afternoon and call us back again. Right now, what I have is I have four chill coffees. Um, I've got one going, I've got three going to Nashville and one going to Spartanburg, South Carolina. They're all tractors. And they belong to uh, Pleasant Prairie Logistics. So they're brand new uh, Kenworths is what they are. And uh, Kenworth tractors. And they are going from Chillicothe over like this one's going to Spartanburg, South Carolina. Okay, so you're looking at this one is 446 miles. 53 cents a mile is $236.38. Plus, it's got another $175 transportation. So, all in, you're making $411.38 for this truck. We're taking care of all the fuel, the tolls, the permits, the DEF fluid, any additives you have out there on the road. We take care of all the road use taxes, fuel taxes, liability insurance, all of that. We give you two MasterCards, so you can even advance the money for the fuel, and then you just send in the ticket, and it offsets the money that you drew for the fuel. It just zeroes out. So on this particular one, it's chill coffee going to Spartanburg, South Carolina. So then what you would, when you pick this one up, you would go, okay, I'm going to be in Spartanburg tomorrow. What's going to be around me when I get there? And we try and keep you around a 300-mile radius or less. So, like right now, I've got a Somerville, South Carolina, going to uh, King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. Or I have a bunch of Ladsons going to Austin, Texas, or Oklahoma City, or Tulsa, Oklahoma. So, you would pick and choose one of those and then go again. Let's say that you took the Ladson going down to Austin. That particular one is a non-CDL. It's a brand new bucket truck. Or, no, excuse me. I'm sorry. Brand new uh, bread truck for FedEx. So you're looking at 1,210 miles on that. It's paying 53 cents a mile. So it's $641.30. Plus it's got $175 transportation on it also. So you're making $816.30 on this one. Plus it's going to pay you $20 to wash it and $20 to get an inspection. 
So you're looking at eight fifty six thirty on this particular truck. I'm hearing the rates and everything. You you saying it's fifty three cent a mile? Is is the do the rates vary? Because you have one here sixty three cents a mile. Yeah, it's fifty three to sixty three cents a mile. So you're looking at um, non CDL to bobtail tractors are fifty three, and then your heavier trucks are fifty eight like your dump trucks, cement trucks, crane trucks, and then your tractor trailers are 63. Now the rates stay the same, but the uh, the transportation varies uh, anywhere from 100 to $400. How much experience do you guys require to do, on, to do all of this? You have to have at least if you're uh, either a class A or a class B, you have to have at least a year over the road by doing logs and one school. Uh, they would count the school as a year or two, one CDL school. If you're non-CDL, you have to have two years over the road experience in the last five years. Where are you guys located, MTI? Where where are you located? Because I'm assuming I would have to come to you for the for the orientation and everything, right? No. No, we do it over the computer on Google Meets. We, our home office is in Osceola, Indiana. We have one in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania, Charlotte, North Carolina, and I'm out of Benton, Arkansas, right outside of Little Rock. How would I go by doing my pre-employment drug screening? Would it be hair follicles or, drug, or uh, urine or both? It would be urine. It would be pre-employment. Uh, do you guys have any, do you guys have anything that goes up into Canada or anything like that? And if so, do the rates vary? Yeah, we don't go into Canada at all. We used to a long time ago, but it just, it's not worth it. Okay. So all of this right here is no force dispatch. Everything is per my decision, right? Yeah. If you want it or not. Uh-huh. It says here that the settlements is paid out uh, 24 to 48 hours, so I would get the full amount? Or how would that pay out? Yes, what you have left, yeah. Um, it depends on how much you took um, or taking advances only for fuel. Then, yes, you would get all of that back after 24 hours or 48 hours after you turn in your paperwork. But if you were getting... Let's say that you, you you could get $350 a day. Let's say that you only needed $200 worth of fuel, but you had $150 left out of that $350. Well, that's your money. If you didn't use it, that's that's your money. You know what I mean? If you don't have anything to offset it, it's your... I, I could just get paid out after that. I won't have to wait for you know Friday for a full settlement if I don't want to, right? No, no. Yeah, it's when you send in your paperwork, it's 24 to 48 hours after that uh, that you get paid, business hours. Uh, benefits. Uh, do you guys offer benefits, and when do they start? No. No benefits? No, so this you're is an independent contractor, so you're you're uh, worrying about your own. Yeah, you get a 1099. There's no health insurance. No force dispatch, ten ninety nine. Get paid every day. Well, not every day, but every other day. You'll send me the information on where the vehicle is at. I go pick it up. Would you guys uh -huh. cover? Would you guys cover for my expenses of getting to the truck or vehicle that needs to be taken to well, be, see, be the, picked up? The money that we. The money that we have on the load, you know, like the fifty-three cents a mile plus one hundred and fifty or one hundred and seventy-five or two hundred dollar transportation, we can put that transportation money on your card so you can get there. Can you do me a favor and uh, explain to me the no mandated ELD logging? Uh, mm -hmm. So that means I won't have to use uh, ELD the the drive. Either use paper logs. Yeah, you can either use paper logs or you can um, use Motive app, which is kind of like keep trucking. It's a glorified logbook, electronic logbook. Gotcha. Uh, do you guys accept SAP drivers? No. Okay. Uh, and it no. And it says here that you guys got a quarterly uh, bonus and a referral bonus, but do you guys have a sign-on incentive or no? No. No, the quarterly bonus is forever. 
Um, every quarter you can, you're in line to get the bonus. Um, you could be here for 20 years and you still get the bonus if you're in line for it, if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. All right. Well, so, yeah, but we don't have a sign on bonus. Gotcha. Well, thank you very much. Uh, this, this is a lot of information that I can go and uh, digest and pass on. Thank you. Uh, if I'm interested, what I just do, just just give you a call back and just uh, sign up from there for Google Moot. Now, you can, um, you can also work for other driveway companies. Uh, you can work for multiple. If you work more than three, though, you kind of get where you don't know which end is going or coming. You know what I mean? Because you're you're moving trucks for three different people. If you if you start doing four, you're having to change your log and doing this and doing that and doing and and trying to keep up with. Okay, whose truck am I in today? You know that kind of thing. But um, I've got people that do you know two and everything is works real fine with doing two driveways and i have some people that do three i do have some people out there that do four and five but they're kind of all over the place you just don't know where they're at they're constantly out there on the road and stuff like that so anyway but you can work for other driveway companies and then it helps out your deadhead a lot. Um, you know, where we try and keep you around a 300-mile radius or less, it could be that they have something right there where you just dropped and that you can pick up and go, you know, that kind of thing. Mammo Transportation. This is a driveway uh position meaning that you know you would drive trucks vehicles uh box trucks uh rvs to different places once you do that you would drop it off and you would get paid about 24 to 48 hours or if you just want to get paid out for the full week, you would get paid out for the full week. Mammo Transportation, they are located in multiple places, but you will do your onboarding and your orientation via Google Meets. Uh, it's not W-2, it is 1099 and it's not forced dispatch. And no, they do not accept SAP drivers. You can become your own boss with Mammo Transportation. They have different rates per different vehicles that you will be driving. Uh, majority of it, by the sounds of it, you probably might be driving the, the 53 cent a mile, but you can average up to 63 cent a mile. You will get reimbursed for your fuel and everything. Um, the pay is settled. 24 to 48 hours after completion or you might want to just wait until the end of the week no force dispatch being that you're independent contractor so you can choose what uh which vehicle you want to drive and which way you want to drive it uh no equipment of course no mandated eld because you don't keep the trucks long as she says uh, I did meant to ask her about pet and rider, but I'm going to assume no, probably no on the pet, maybe on the rider. You might want to ask them if you can bring a rider along, but I'm sure they're probably going to say no on the pet because, you know, these is like brand new vehicles and they don't want, you know, no pet hair or anything like that. They do have a driver referral bonus for $1,500, quarterly bonus for as long as you stay with them for $1,000. You do get a roadside incentive, so if you get like a good roadside inspection, they'll pay you that. They'll give you hotel allowance and no sign-on bonus. Mammo Transportation. What do you guys think? If you drive for a Mammo Transportation, let us know how your experience with them in the comments below. Uh, guys, get your suggestions in now who you would like to know about next on the MTC. Until next time, everybody. Who's next?